if you want to take care of the ball better, become a better playmaker. These are soccer passing drills you can do by yourself. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. In this video, I wanna give you some soccer passing drills that you can do by yourself. But before we get into the drills, let's just talk about passing technique. In my opinion, Passing, receiving, those are the two most important skills in soccer, in football. If you can't pass a ball, you're not accurate, you give away your passes, you're gonna give away possession, your teammates aren't gonna wanna pass you the ball. Take care of the ball when you have it, and if you wanna do that, you have to be a good passer. So let's talk about technique. So first of all, playing with the inside of the foot, I wanna make nice flush contact. I wanna make a nice flat surface. If my foot is angled in any way, it's not gonna go straight. If I want this ball to go straight, I need this foot to be straight. Okay, so nice flat surface for the ball to make contact with. And when I push through it, I wanna keep that flat. Okay, and even I can see I'm going a little bit that way. So think about stepping through the ball, keeping this nice and flat, nice and firm. If this is weak, if this is weak, my pass is gonna be weak. Okay, so a lot of people, they'll have good contact, but when they They'll have good uh, foot flexion, but when they make contact, the foot goes weak. Okay, you're good till here, and then you hit it, and then you come weak. So focus on keeping your foot nice and firm, keeping a nice flat surface for the ball to make contact with, keeping it through the ball, stepping through to your target, not chopping from back here. Obviously, sometimes in a game, the pass might get away from you, and yes, you do have to play a pass. Hey, what's up? I hope you're finding this content helpful. Watch this all the way to the end if you want to find out which subscriber got this video's special shout out. Leaning back, but whenever possible, don't lunge on your passes, get over the ball, step through it, really overemphasize your technique. Step towards your target, okay? Depending on the style of pass that you're doing, maybe you're doing a weighted pass, but if you're hitting into your teammate's feet and you want it to get there without getting intercepted, put a bit of pace on it. Okay, ball stays on the ground. You don't want bouncing balls. So if you're hitting passes and it's coming up off the ground right away, you're hitting too low on the ball. So try to hit through the center of the ball. My foot is staying on the ground, but I'm hitting through the center of the ball. If you're leaning back, if you're getting too far under, it's gonna pop up. Okay, so get on top of the ball, nice foot contact over it, fall through towards your target and analyze every pass. When you're practicing with your teammates, let's say you're warming up. How many times are you just passing? Yeah, whatever, pass, let's start the practice. Every pass you make, whether it's warm up, practice, drill, in a game, take pride in those passes. Do not give the ball away. The other thing I would like you to think about is playing with all parts of the feet, especially the outside. I feel like young players are discouraged from playing passes with the outside of the foot. If I wanna start putting a little bit of spin, a little bit of curl on the ball, if I wanna start playing around people, what I mean by that is, if I know the defender's there, I can't play across a pass across my body. It's easy for him to intercept. I have to shape the pass. So maybe that's with the inside of the foot. Maybe that's with the outside of the foot. But if I don't have the ability to do those things because I can only pass one way with one foot, I'm gonna get my passes intercepted. So, learning to play with the outside of the foot, experiment with it, we'll do these in these drills, but same principles apply. Make strong contact. If you have a weak limb foot, you're gonna have a weak pass. Get over it when you can. Step through to your target. Okay, so when you're practicing, think about these things that we talked about, but take pride in your passing. Don't give the ball away. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the Online Soccer Academy. Don't give the ball away. Let me give you some different passing drills that you can use. Now, if you're practicing by yourself, best tool for training on your own, especially passing, shooting, is a wall. So here I have a wall. It's gonna be my partner. He's gonna pass the ball back to me every time. He's never gonna get tired. And I'm gonna do a bunch of different drills 
that you can use to improve your passing skills. First, let's just play two touch. Okay, so everything we talked about, good passing technique, body over the ball, open up the foot, playing with both feet. The only other thing I would focus on here when you're doing this is this first touch. Okay, because if I wanna play two touch, if I wanna play two touch, and that ball sticks in my feet here, it's difficult to play two touch. It's difficult to get a good pass, the pass that you want. So focus on the quality of this first touch. Not so far that you lose control of it. Not so weak and so close that you can't play quickly, but just out of your feet so you can touch, quickly pass, quickly step into it. Okay, the other thing I want you to notice with all these is, it's on the toes. It's not flat footed like this. If you practice like this, you play like this. So when you're doing these drills, focus on the quality, the sharpness of movement. Always on the toes, quick to react, because if there is a bad pass, I can quickly get there, set my feet, play that pass. Okay, so start two touch. Next, you can go into playing two touch in different ways. Let's play same foot as I've been doing. Same foot, okay, get 50 reps on your right, 50 reps on your left, good technique. When you're doing this, focus on one spot on the wall, hit that spot every time. Play two feet, so receive left, receive right, or pass right, receive left, pass right. Good quality on every pass. Then you can receive into space. Okay, so don't always stop the ball dead, especially in a game, if I always stop it here, I'm easy to defend. Attack with your first touch. Get away from the defender with your first touch. So into space, play your pass. Into space, play your pass. Be creative, different techniques, play your pass. Good. You can play one touch. Okay, so again, on the toes, focus on quality. When you're playing one touch, the contact point, the focus on the contact point becomes even more important. So you can see when I'm hitting these passes, I'm over the ball, but a lot of people hit their pass and they're not even looking at the ball. They're already looking at the target. Yes, you wanna have your head up, but when it's time to make contact, find the center of the ball. If you wanna make it go straight and actually watch your foot to the center of the ball so you make good contact, okay? But play one touch, and sharpness of the feet, playing with both feet, inside of the foot. If I ever don't like my technique, say I had a bad pass on my left, I'm not just gonna go back to my right, I'm gonna come back to my left, I might get an extra 10. Really tighten it up until I'm happy with that technique. Then I'll move forward. Okay, you can play half turn as we did, better touch than that. Half turn as we did in a midfielder drill. Okay, focus on receiving, but the quality of your pass is still there. Then you can play distances. So play right here, quick on the toes. The harder you pass it, the faster it's gonna come back. <clears throat> Practice passing from different distances. Okay, and even coming way back here, you can start slow, but build up to it. You can play like a driven pass. Driven pass with the laces. Ping on the ground, you can play in the air. But I would just start practicing playing a driven pass on the ground. Good, and the one that we didn't talk about was that outside of the foot. Okay, so practice start here. Touch across the body, better touch than that. Outside the foot, around the defender. Curl it around the defender. Around the corner to your teammate. Little through ball into space. But 
first of all, when you're doing this one, I'll, I'll, ask my, I'll ask grown men to do this in practice. They can't figure it out. If I want to play with the outside of my foot, this touch has to come across my body. If I'm receiving the ball here and I want to play outside the foot, that's not what I'm asking you to do. There's no point really in doing that in a game. Okay, so if you want to play outside the foot, take that touch across your body and step, step into it. If you're struggling on this one, it's usually because your ankle flexion isn't strong enough. Your foot technique isn't strong enough. So really, don't hit it with a weak, link, weak limp ankle and don't hit it back here. Okay? Flex, get over it, step through it. Flex, step through it. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.